Hey guys, Lake Fork God, Greg West. Here we are at the beginning of February. Just wanted to give you guys a quick fishing report and kind of, you know, show you what I'm throwing, what I'm catching them on, and, and give you a few ideas of uh, how and where I'm fishing. Uh, first of all, I'm really only fishing shallow and deep. Uh, if I'm fishing shallow, I've pretty much got one rod in my hand the whole time. I'm throwing the Striking Rage Blade in white or black and blue. Uh, I've got the new Striking Rage Swimmer on the back in white. Uh, this is really, I picked this up and I don't put it down. I feel like you're going to target, I'm really looking for just those bigger fish that have moved up already and hanging out. And uh, this thing thumps and kicks off so much action with that Rage Swimmer. I'll just pick this up and we'll just throw it looking for a big bite. Um, I've really been catching them in the dirt, one to three foot of water. It's great to have a little bit of grass around. If I don't, I'll go to the backs of these creeks and I'll find where the creek channel comes in and I'll throw it around the stumps or I'll look for isolated stumps in the spawning flat and that's been the best for me. Uh, I'm throwing it on a 7.3 medium heavy Fitzgerald rod, uh, seven to one Shimano Cron Arc. Uh, I see a lot of guys messing up this time of year when, when they throw a rage blade or some kind of bladed jig. Uh, and, and their rod just, it's too flimsy. Uh, you almost, when I throw this, I'll throw it out there. When I do get that bite, that rod, will, they either hit it two different ways. They'll either smash it or, you know, that rod will kind of, you'll feel it kind of load up. And you just, really, all I have to do with this is just pull into it with a, with a medium heavy. So uh, the 7.3 Fitzgerald has been the best for me. Uh, if Also fishing shallow, uh, I've got... Uh, uh, striking the hack attack jig. Uh, I like to th flip in the three eighths half or sometimes three quarter. Uh, Okeechobee or green pumpkin has been the best for me. Um, putting the rage call on the back, green pumpkin or green, pum green pumpkin sapphire has been the best. Uh, I'm really targeting. I'll just put my boat in the creek channel, start about halfway back, and then flip every stump on the way to the back. Uh, sometimes all the way in the back or halfway back, just depending on the day. That's where I've been catching them. Uh, I've also been throwing this out deep. Uh, there's two things I've been throwing out deep, this and the Striking Underspin. Uh, but this jig right here, um, really been throwing Hacks jig a little bit more than I have the Striking Tour Grade Football jig, just because it's got a heavier hook on it. Uh, Green Pumpkin or Okeechobee Crawl has been the best. I'm throwing this on a 7.3 medium heavy Fitzgerald rod as well. Uh, Shimano Metanium, 8 to 1. I, I like a fast gear ratio. A lot of times when they hit it, they're already running with it, so you got to catch up to them. Uh, 20 pound cigar, that's been the deal. Uh, only other rod I've had out when I'm out fishing deep, and this is what I've had a ton of guys around the lake ask me what I'm throwing. That's the Strike King. It's the fish head underspin. Uh, the half ounce has been the best. You can catch some on the three quarter, but for some reason they've been picky and they really like this half ounce. Uh, I'm throwing the Strike King caffeine shad on the back. I throw this out, I let it hit bottom, and I'll crank the reel two or three times really quick, let that bait come up, and as it falls back down, most of the time, it'll never make it back to the bottom. Uh, also a 7.3 medium heavy Fitzgerald rod, uh, Shimano core, 20 pound fluorocarbon, Seaguar, if I'm not throwing 20, it's got 17 on it. That's been the best for me. I uh, hope this guy's helps you out a little bit. The, the bite at Fork really has been phenomenal the last three weeks, and I think it's only going to get better from here. Um, if we don't have a winter show up, these fish are going to be up on beds here before we know it. So I'm seeing water temp anywhere from 55 to 60. So uh, it's going to be a great spring. I'm looking forward to it. I hope this will help you guys out on your next trip out to Fork. Uh, make sure and check out the website. Y'all feel free and call me anytime. Uh, it's Lake Fork Guide, Greg West. Uh, good luck to all you guys on your next trip to Fork.